Hi everybody and welcome to another training video from prestatraining.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to center a logo on the home page of your PrestaShop installation. In this case I'm using PrestaShop version 1.4.8.2 and I've got the default theme installed. I've not installed any theme in addition to the initial PrestaShop installation. So this should be what you would see right out of uh, right out of the box for your initial PrestaShop installation. Now you won't exactly see it like this because I've already got this centered. I just wanted to show you what the end result was of the video first so you could see what we're going to be doing. There will be a couple things that you need to know. First you'll need an FTP program in order to connect to your web host so we can modify your global CSS file. And you'll need a text editor like eText Editor or Notepad or Dreamweaver or something like that. And where we're going to start is we're going to open up our FTP program and I'm going to show you where the global CSS file is and then we'll open that file in our text editor and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I made some of these modifications first in a testing environment and then we'll actually modify the files. So first let's open up our FTP program. So I happen to use FileZilla and I'm going to go to the installation for my PrestaShop store, which is right here. Yours will be different, I'm sure. So I'm going to open this up, and the next thing I want to do is scroll down and find my Themes folder. So here's my Themes folder. This is the location where you'll find all the themes that you may or may not install in your store. Since I have a default installation, I just have the PrestaShop theme. So let's go into the PrestaShop theme, and then we'll need to go find the CSS folder. Let's open up the CSS folder. Scroll down just a little bit. What you're looking for is a file called global.css, which is right here. So I'm going to right click on this and click view and edit. You may have a different way of doing it, but that's how I have to open it up in my text editor. And here is the file itself open in the text editor. Okay, for now, we're just going to let this be. I'm going to go and show you some other things in the actual store itself and then we'll come back to this when the time comes to actually modify the files. So let's go back to the store and another thing we'll need to use is a little program or it's an add-in to Firefox. There are also versions similar to this for Internet Explorer and Google Chrome but I'm using Firefox for this demonstration and they have a great plugin called Firebug. So with Firebug already installed I'm just going to right click and I'm going to click inspect element with Firebug. And what it does is bring up a great little program down here that in this window shows you all the HTML. And then over here you can see a number of different things. I happen to be on the style tab right now which gives me all the CSS associated with the highlighted item. So for instance this item div ID header underscore right is the highlighted item these are all the CSS properties of that particular item. So what I wanted to show you is that right now uh, I've got this just set up temporarily. As soon, as soon as I hit the reload button it will go back to the default state and all my changes will go away. But with Firebug you've got some great opportunities to use it to actually find stuff and once you find stuff then you can figure out how to modify it. So all I did was I click on, clicked on the little blue box here that allows me to inspect an element. So with that clicked, as I move my cursor over, it starts picking up on the major areas of the website. So you can see that every one of these areas is something that has HTML and CSS associated with it, and you can see the changes as I move in the windows below. So what I want to learn a little bit more about is this area up here and um, I'm going to show you kind of what it is right now. So this, if I click on this, it's going to lock this in down below. This is a section called ID Header Logo. If I look just above, there's actually a div container. A div container is the header. And I can just tell you that the header includes this whole area up here. So there's the logo, and then this stuff, well, I know you probably don't know this, but this is all part of what's called header right. So here's the div header, Here's header right, and you can see it's highlighted. And then this section right here, header logo, that's the modified version. That's what we're going to get to. And if I click on any one of these items, it brings up the properties, the CSS properties for those items. So you can see that 
and then I click here and it's different. It tells me it's header right and I get some information about header right. Okay, so we're going to be using Firebug to help us figure this stuff out, but I'm going to right now reload this so it erases everything because it's not permanent. I was just playing around with it to get some temporary results. And now that I've reloaded the page, it goes back to all the original settings since I haven't actually changed any of the files. But I am going to show you how to use Firebug to temporarily change some stuff and play around with it without actually changing your files and making a mess.